Hello everyone and uh, welcome to my project uh, for Instructables uh, which is a smart stove. Um, firstly before, before I go any further I'd like to wish you all a very happy new year and uh, coming to the project. So the project that I'm going to be dealing with is uh, more or less concerned to the safety aspect of our, of our household and um, so, so basically um, in this world full of distractions um, there are a few important things uh, we cannot afford to miss upon at any cost. Uh, moreover, uh, such things that require attention from time to time uh, when left unattended uh, may lead to emergency situations. So one such things that need to be dealt with at most diligence is operating the stove while cooking the food. Now imagine, imagine you set the stove on and were completely distracted by your phone or a series on the Netflix. Very surely, you can assess the aftermath of the scenario that it could lead to. It could be di disastrous as well. So here is a smart st stuff. Uh, here is exactly where the smart stuff comes into play. So when someone cooking food leaves the stuff and the kitchen un unattended for a while, um, they get notified by an, an SMS. That helps as a reminder for them to pay the required attention. Now guys, um, after getting to know about very briefly about what a smart stuff is, uh, we'll now get to see about how it actually works and the implementation of it as well. Now for the on the on the physical front, the devices that I've used um, are basically a Raspberry Pi. Um, there's this Raspberry Pi head that connects to the breadboard and then there's the most important thing which is a temperature sensor and then we also have a proximity sensor. Um, so we have all the temperature sensor and the proximity sensor connected to the breadboard um, which actually sends uh, the information to the Raspberry Pi through the Raspberry Pi head. Now what actually happens um, and how we actually get to process the data from here to here um, is something uh, technic is something that we have uh, implemented using few of the technical tools um, one of them being a node red so basically uh, node red uh, is a visualizing tool for uh, wiring together the hardware devices uh, with the online services um, and it also has built-in libraries uh, used to save the templates and flows in JavaScript. So basically uh, the data in the Node-RED uh, is actually processed uh, in a format of JSON. So here as you can see uh, there is a flow that if you notice um, is related to my project. Now before I go, go on explaining any further about the flow, let me actually tell you that for demo purposes, uh, we have used the temperature check as uh, 45 degrees Celsius, and um, we also have the proximity time of the resident uh, in and around the stow area for about five seconds. Now, you'll actually eventually get to know about the 40 seconds and the five seconds thing. Uh, as we go on. So let me actually explain you about the flow. Um, so the temperature check that you see here um, is basically the temperature checkpoint where now uh, let me actually explain you about the implementation of the circuit and the flow. So as you can see here uh, there's this temperature check. Now this temperature check actually signifies the temperature that a sensor uh, can basically sense. For the demo purposes, we have set this temperature check at 45 degrees Celsius. That is, if the sensor can sense uh, somewhere, for, uh, that is the temperature which is equal to 45 or greater than 45, it basically triggers and then um, forwards the motion to the motion check trigger. Now this motion check trigger, um, it then actually 
senses the motion in and around the kitchen area and checks if the person is present. In any given instance of less than 5 seconds, if it is not able to detect a person, it then triggers it to this area and the motion check area. So then uh, basically this trigger point you see, so that is um, uh, you know tied to a time limit uh, wherein it checks for the time of the person present and then the mount the, the motion sensor actually processes the information um, now here at this point um, this tab basically has two set of information one is the temperature being greater than or equal to 45 and the other being the person not available at that vicinity for more than five seconds now this is exactly the point where the motion processing happens and it sends an alert in the form of SMS to the resident. Now the way this alert is sent to the resident is something that we have implemented using Twilio. So Twilio is basically a, a cloud communication uh, platform uh, that helps um, the, this flow, this circuit to generate the information and communicate it to the resident. So people um, having looked at the flow and the technical uh, uh, circuit uh, over the node red platform, I am now gonna uh, showcase you about the physical implementation of this project. Now this is the most in interesting part and this is where you actually can uh, get a clear picture of what's going on. So here is basically the temperature sensor that I've used for demo purposes. This can actually be hooked um, near uh, near to a stove um, for sensing the temperature. Um, so basically now I'm gonna be using this uh, to detect the flame um, for the demo purposes. So let's go ahead um, uh, detect the flame and then get to see what's happening behind the screen now here you go so basically I'm letting the flame and uh, trying to generate some heat for the sensor now the thing that you see on the screen is basically node red reading this information so as I've said earlier, for the demo purposes, the 45 degree temperature limit that we are using, when that limit gets hit, that is when you, the uh, resident gets a message saying that the temperature has reached a particular threshold and you need to go check the stuff. So here you see, please check your stuff is the message that the customer or the resident got uh, as soon as the temperature hit to 45 degrees on the node red platform so people um, after having seen the physical implementation as well um, I'd like to finally sum it up uh, by explaining you uh, in total of what ex exactly has to be done to get this project onto the board so basically this temperature sensor that you see um, this should actually be placed uh, very somewhere very nearer to the stuff um, to detect the flame uh, and you can uh, set the temperature uh, at any threshold that you want uh, I would say uh, 100 degrees Celsius uh, is something ideal boiling point temperature that you can set to and then uh, this is the proximity sensor that again should be placed somewhere near the stove in the kitchen area now this should be pointing towards the entrance of the kitchen um, which means that uh, from the stove to the entrance of the kitchen is the proximity of this um, sensor uh, to detect uh, if a person is uh, around or not so these two other information uh, which are used to generate the safety alert to the person and um, that's pretty much it 
of what I have done, uh, what I have put my thought in, put my thoughts into. I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, so I hope you like my project and uh, thank you so very much for your time. Thank you.